Yes. Well, nine Dubuque students are getting $5,000 grants to pursue wow. climate action projects. One project aims to persuade restaurants to start composting. KCRG TV 9's Keegan Turnbow joins us after talking to the student and one of the restaurant owners who is signing on. Lucy Conlin is going door to door in Dubuque, asking restaurant owners if they want to sign up for the area's curbside composting services. I'm doing it really customizable to each restaurant, like whatever they need, um, what's going to work best for them. So it may look like separate bins for inside their kitchens or like paper towels are compostable. So maybe they want bins for in their bathrooms. Conlin compares it to a pilot project. Using the $5,000 grant from Bloomberg Philanthropies, Conlin wants to pay for the materials restaurants need to compost until the funds run out in November. Today, she convinced Catfish Charlie's. I'm going to do it today. I'm going to give him a call. Charles Kretzinger, the owner of Catfish Charlie's, tells me Conlin's solution is a good one. When we're cutting up a bag of 50 pounds of onions and uh, we're peeling potatoes and we have coffee filters and coffee grounds and uh, you know, it, it, it's going to make a difference. Kretzinger plans on getting a 64-gallon container and hopes to fill it every week. Conlin tells me about a fourth of all waste found in the landfill is compostable. I think why don't we do that? It's such a great proven way to keep the landfills from filling up so quickly. Conlin's project is one of nine students ages 15 to 24 are working on in Dubuque. The other projects include making mobile solar banks that can be used at large events, helping businesses reduce greenhouse gas emissions, and placing pocket libraries throughout the city. In Dubuque, Keegan Turnbow, KCRG TV9 News.